There is so much going on right now that I didn't even know what topic I was going to cover, but I got some inspiration from our dear friend, Brian Fanzo from iSocialFans. You know, he started a new podcast along with our friend, Amy Landino, and it's called Just Try This. But what's really exciting about this and why that inspired me for my topic today is because they are using Anchor for the podcast. They're using Anchor for the podcast. And I was just watching a Periscope that Brian was on. Actually, uh, I missed it originally when it aired. It was about five days ago. And he was comparing Anchor to Libsyn now. I'm not going to get into that today because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> and plus, I've done that before. But <laughs> what I do want to talk about is some of the new updates. You know that Anchor was acquired by Spotify. Very exciting news, in case you hadn't heard. I talked about it over on the Anchor Show podcast that I have. And, you know, the whole industry has been talking about it. But even before that, Anchor hired some folks to help spruce up their desktop interface. Now, you know, Anchor's known for being that mobile app that's just so easy to use. But I love that Anchor also provides more in-depth tools for folks who want to uh, go, like I said, just a little bit deeper with using podcasting. So you can do it at the entry level with Anchor just by picking up your phone, you know, download the app, press that button. Actually, it's a plus sign now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Tap and start talking. You can add in guests. You can get messages from others but they also added that desktop component when they rolled out of 3.0. And I love that they are back to giving the desktop a little bit more attention, a little bit more love. And before I do any screen sharing, I want to say hello, hello. I have some of my friends in the chat. Here is Alfredo Tigolo, who's here in chat, and my girl, Zakia Ringgold and also Barb Tomlin is here. And for those of you who are patrons, I am going to post a link over in our secret group if you want to join me on CAM. So uh, those that are patrons know what I'm talking about. And my girl Ruth is here. Hey, hey, Ruth. And uh, uh Alfredo said he was a guest on an anchor show, an interview. I didn't know they had a desktop component. Oh my goodness. Well, then you're going to love this. Then I will take it slow. Howdy, howdy. And yes, it's afternoon. Did I say good morning? <laughs> hey, dryer buzz. Don't mess with me. I'm already confused. It's just, there's so much to cover guys. There really is. And like I said, I had to take my pick and we'll talk about some of the other updates later but let's get through the anchor stuff first so barb says she didn't know that they even had desktop and this is a combined um broadcast where i'm using two pieces of tech Streamyard, which has an update i might as well go through these updates too while i'm going along and one of the updates with Streamyard is that i can turn off the display name and then my dear friends over at Ecamm Live, woohoo! they just released their version three and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. And so I'm actually using Ecamm Live as well, but I'm not gonna show off anything on Ecamm Live right now. I'll get back to that later because I'm gonna do my desktop sharing inside of StreamYard. And like I said, I did put that link over there if anybody wants to join me, if you're a patron, you can join me on cam. And uh, <clears throat> so here we go. Let's do a screen share. Nope. You don't exit out in order to do the screen share. You, you're supposed to hit the plus button. <laughs> Use 
user error, user error. There it is. Okay, so here is Anchor from desktop. So what we're going to do is just make it bigger. All right now, this is of course where somebody would listen, but as you can see here, I'm logged in, and you can see my profile up at the top right. Okay, well, we're just going to go over into the dashboard, and the dashboards are where all the goodies have been hiding out all this time. All right, this is where you can see how much money you're making. Yes, and you know, this right now is telling you what's in my wallet, but. I will go to the money tab to tell you overall, I think I've made like close to $25 since they started this. But I'm seeing folks that are making hundreds of dollars with Anchor. All right, that's another topic. Okay, so let's just scroll down. Of course, you have your sharing buttons over here on the right-hand side. Okay, let me know if you guys can see all of that. And... Uh, don't forget about two taps. All right. You guys know the two taps, what that is, right? One tap to share it. And I see my girl Barb is here. Okay, Barb, hang on one second. And one tap to like it. And if you're brand new, one tap to subscribe and two taps to hit that bell notification. Y'all know what I'm talking about on YouTube. <laughs> Hashtag two taps. All right. So let's just go back to uh, say hi to Barb since she's here now. Hello, my dear. Howdy. I must apologize. I can't come on um, screen today. That's okay. But, um, this, I guess I'm way behind. I had no clue that we could come on by desktop at all. And you're saying, and I, because I was getting ready to come in here and join you, I probably missed the how to, huh? Or are you just now getting on to that? I'm doing it right now. No, okay, you you great. you were here at the very beginning. And Zakia wants me one more time to say what is two taps? Hashtag two taps. Here's the here's the premise of this, Zakia. And I'm going to turn off our display names just so you can see my hashtag two taps. A lot of times when you hear YouTubers, they say, smash that like button and smash. No, I don't want you to smash anything. I want you to gently and lovingly tap that little share button. Tap that little like or thumbs up. All right. And if you're new, you're going to tap once to subscribe and tap a second time to get the notifications with the little bell. Those are the two taps. All right. <laughs> All right. So I just showed off three things at once. Okay. So now let's see if I missed another comment. And then uh, Dry Her Buzz just launched a second podcast for her Atlanta content. You go, girl. And <clears throat> Zaki is just saying hi. All right. So let me make sure I got this out on Twitter. Okay. So now we're on desktop. And we're going to scroll down. You'll see your overall podcast plays now admittedly even by team anchor even mike magnano and i even talked about this when i met him in person at podcast movement anchor stats ain't all that okay but they're a little way to get an idea you get a general idea don't go by oh my gosh i played it on spotify and then i didn't see it don't worry about that you're getting an overall idea of how your podcast is doing okay so that's what these stats are showing. Not exact. All right. And down here, you're seeing where your show is being played. For me, it looks like mostly anchor at the top. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you see this huge category of other, which is yet to be defined as this Spotify acquisition goes along they're going to update these stats but this just gives you an idea i do have people listening in anchor of course on itunes on ios overcast Pocket Cast, spotify stitcher blah 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 okay so you can see this and you, this is for the overall view of the podcast all right then here is just a little uh 
description of my podcast. I can click here to edit any of this, but we can also see all the platforms that this show is available on. You have to go into the advanced tab for that. I'm sorry, you go into where your podcast can be heard for that. And there is the link to each and every one of those platforms. Okay. And this is your RSS feed link, which is very, very important. Every podcaster needs to know what their RSS feed link is. All right. Hey, Carla Jenkins. I'll say that one more time. Every podcaster, I don't care what host you have, you need to know what the link is for your RSS feed because essentially this is what makes it a podcast. This is like saying this is your homepage. <laughs> Even though people can't actually read this, but this is what all the pod catchers read, like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher. Those are pod catchers, right? Listening apps. Okay, so then you also want to, if you have, especially if you're not an English podcast, you want to go in here and set your language. And then, of course, if you have explicit content, you want to say that your show is explicit, you definitely can get kicked out of Apple Podcasts and probably some of the other apps if you have explicit content and you don't warn people because people like to listen in their car when they have their kids with them, right? And it's just respectful. Of course, me, I'm always clean. <laughs> I like to keep it clean. Zakia keeps me clean with her soaps. <laughs> Just kidding. But we're going to get with the soaps. Okay, this is new. This is new. Notice I just clicked on the episodes button. All right, you see that's green now. There was, we did not previously have a way to see all of our episodes in this wonderful list that gives you the date, even shows you the ones that were untitled. And if, if it's locked, that means that was a draft. I never published it. Okay. Gives you the full title. And as always, the three dots known as the ellipsis. Always look for three dots. Whenever you're using an app, look for the three dots. Okay. <laughs> That's where you get more information. Your public link your episode details. This is where you can download the episode and delete the episode. Very important, very, very important. Now I'm going to go to this episode details because now this is where I can edit any of the stuff that I want to edit. Barb, you okay there? Yeah, I'm okay. I turned right. off the mic. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and Juan Santiago was here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Eileen, what is Anchor from Desktop? Okay, I'm showing it in the screen share there. When you log in, instead of using the Anchor mobile app, which is available on iOS and Android, this is the desktop, which you can, I'm uh, pretty sure it works on uh, every, you know, Mac and PC, and I'm only thinking about Chromebook, but I'm pretty sure it works on Chromebook as well. You should use the Chrome browser, but it probably works in Firefox. But if anything wonky happens, just head over to, to Chrome. <laughs> okay. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So oh, let's see. What else do I want to cover here? This new thing that I noticed today, actually, because someone asked this question about an episode, you know, there was a big brouhaha. I'm going to come on full screen. There was a big brouhaha in the podcasting space because Apple sent out an email talking about episode numbers and titles. Well, it was a big brouhaha for about 24 hours. And then they send another email that was like, oh, no, we didn't really mean to say that. I'm not going to bash Apple. Well, I probably will. But I'm not going to bash them right now. <laughs> Bottom line is there's episode tags now. This is only this is really getting into the weeds. So don't worry about this. But just know that. When you have an episode title and your titles are important, 
Let me start with that. Here's why your titles are important. When someone is searching in the Apple directory, it's not like searching on Google. It's not like searching on YouTube. That's why YouTube and Google are such amazing search engines. On a scale of one to 10, as search engines go, Apple probably gets a three because the only thing that's searchable is your author name, the name of your show, and the title of your episode. That's extremely important because we are spending a lot of time writing out these long descriptions that people call show notes, right? Everybody knows about show notes, right? It's not searchable. Wow. It never was. <laughs> wow. This is not news. It's just that people assume, hey, it's a search engine, just like Google. No, nothing's just like Google except YouTube. <laughs> and they're not even the same. All of this, what I have here, this is my episode, new recording gear and more anchor workflow tips. This is my latest episode, right? Here I've got, I'd like to help you bridge that information gap, blah, 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 blah. None of that can be searched in Apple Podcasts. Now, some other um, apps have tried to solve that, but Apple Podcasts, let's face it, they're the big elephant in the room. This is where the majority of your listening is going to happen. Uh, and where some of your discoverability is going to take place is on Apple Podcasts. So this is the next thing that they've done, because remember, I just was talking about the episode titles. Anchor has, um, I'm so, I mean, the episode numbers in the title. Anchor just introduced this just the other day, because it wasn't there like three days ago. <laughs> so I don't know which day, but it's not as a result of this whole email thing with Apple. This was just released just to make it clearer. It was always there. And if anyone goes back to any of my old tutorials, you'll see this was always there. But now, and I'll say it just because I don't know if you guys can see exactly what it says because it's light gray type. Season number, if you have seasons, Personally, I don't have seasons, but I know a lot of folks want to have their seasons of their podcast. And episode number. This is where you put the episode number, not in the title of the episode. Okay. And once again, you've got the opportunity. You should always use full unless you're really savvy and you know what a trailer is and you know what a bonus episode is, then you can use these. They're there for you. But the average podcaster or uh, entry level podcaster has no idea what these two things are. So don't mess with them. OK, I've never used a trailer and I've never used a bonus content. OK, so those are the updates that I wanted to go over with you. So let me come back. Let me find where StreamYard is. And I'll come back on screen now. <laughs> well, full screen. <laughs> and get rid of that. So, yes. All right. So, wait. Hey, Patricia's here. Wait a minute. Let me go back and make sure that I got... Zaki is laughing at something. Oh, because I was talking about how clean I am now. Because I found the soap emoji. Thanks to hashtag the soap lady. Zakia Ringo and my girl Patricia Murray's here. Hey, Pat, don't forget two taps. Let me put that comment. <laughs> and also, Dryer Bus said, just change my author name to description for better search results. Okay. I'm, I'm a little concerned about that. And I don't know if that's a typo or not because you said you change your author name to description. That's not a good thing. I, I'm not sure what you mean by that. And maybe you meant to say you change your author name and description, but you don't want to change it to the description. Okay. <laughs> so the other thing that 
Apple Podcasts does not want you to do is to spam your author title with keywords. This is why I'm not a huge fan of Apple Podcasts as far as me pushing my show. Because they only give you three things for people to search for, but then they tell you not to put keywords in those things except for your episode title so it's very very important dryer buzz this is very important the only thing they want in your author field is your name nothing else not not what you do not where you live not what you cook nothing else your name if there's more than one host, your name, comma, their name. And if there's more, comma, their name. You put words in there like dry a buzz, Atlanta's fine. Nope. Nope. You can get kicked out. Hey, I know it's crazy. <laughs> Don't put the word Atlanta in your author field. In your title of your podcast, and they don't want you to put keywords in that either. Whatever is the name of your podcast, if your name of your, let's just say your name of your podcast is Dryer Buzz Atlanta's Digital. That's the name of your podcast. You can't put anything else in there that says um, the finest food, uh, cooking shows. Uh, nope, you can't do it. They don't want you to do it. I, I don't know. Don't ask me why they're like this. <laughs> they don't want any keywords in your author tag. <laughs> and they don't want you adding keywords on your um, title of your show. So if you want your show to be found for Atlanta, that needs to be the name of your show. Atlanta's Dryer Buzz. Oh. But your author tag has got to be Dryer Buzz or your land if you want to use your real name. It's just the way it is. And people have been getting kicked out of iTunes for this. Now, the episode numbers, that was a rumor, kind of like inflated. People flew off the handle and thought they were going to get kicked out for the episode numbers. They don't kick you out for the episode numbers. It just doesn't make sense, and they just don't want you to put the number in there. And quite frankly, since they are giving you a field to put the episode number, it doesn't need to be in the title of the episode because they give you a field. And any podcasting host, you see even Anchor, the free host, they give you a place to put it. So, of course, Lipson does, and Blueberry does, and Spreaker does, and Podbean does. They all do. They all have a place for you to put that episode number. Do not put it in the title of the episode. <laughs> all right, Barb, any uh, reflections on that? That is something. I uh, literally, um, I was unaware. So... Well, you know, and I think that a lot of times people, as I said earlier, just assume, and I know I did in the beginning, I just assume, you know, you put these words in there. In fact, my podcast used to be uh, Miss Eileen Speaks blogging and social media and something else and something else until they made this announcement and back in 2017. Now, it was always like that, but they had never actually informed people and started kicking people out because this is how the spammers were making it to the top of the apple charts oh. because, I'll give you an example you have a business interview show and you don't say barb tomlin interview does interviews you say barb tomlin interviews zig ziglar seth godin john lee dumas pat flint and you ain't talked to none. First of all, Zig Ziglar has passed away. Rest in peace. <laughs> but there was a lot of people that literally wow. got kicked out because they were putting Zig Ziglar and Seth Godin in the title of their show. Wow. 
And that, that no. <laughs> And they weren't even interviewing those people. They were just interviewing people like, <laughs> but they thought I'm going to get discovered because people are going to go over to Apple podcasts and they're looking for Seth Godin because he's been a long time podcaster. Right? right. But no, you're not Seth Godin. He's got his own podcast. So this is why they made these rules because people want, it's always bad apples that want to spoil our fun, isn't it? Right. <laughs> no matter what platform you're on. <laughs> Those doggone marketing people. They don't really know anything about marketing. Just okay. So, so Yolanda has a good question because I actually did not show that. So let's do this. She wants me to relate this to Anchor. All right. So I was just looking at an episode. You're right, Yolanda. I did not. So you go into your settings. Okay, so this is the name of my podcast. All right, Miss Eileen presents The Anchor Show. And because that's what it is, The Anchor Show. <laughs> okay, and where's my name? Here's my name, Eileen Smith. All right, so I don't have... I could, this is how I could spam this. I could say, Miss Eileen presents the anchor show slash podcasting tips slash mm -hmm. digital media news slash, because I got a hundred characters. I'm only using 34. So I'm using less than half of them. I could have all that in there and I could easily get kicked out. Wow. Okay. So yeah, you know, this is, Stuff that I guess because I've been knowing about this stuff for a long time, but I realized that there's a lot of folks that don't understand how Apple works. And because they are, uh, they work so much differently than YouTube. And they were, you know, YouTube is more like people starting to understand YouTube. We got TubeBuddy teaching us about YouTube. We got Tim Schmoyer. We got Brian Johnson. We got, you know what I mean? We got all these YouTube gurus and everybody knows before they do something on YouTube, where to go. But some of the folks that teach about podcasts and quite frankly, they're a little bit more boring than I am. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's Patricia. She says, my title is Nitty Gritty from the Bull City. Bull City is the nickname for Durham, North Carolina. There you go. Now, if people come into Apple Podcasts looking for Bull City, that's a good way for you to get found. That's the name of your show. But you don't want to put Patricia A. Murray as your author name, saying Patricia A. Murray, the Durham Skywriter, because no. That's not good. You're Patricia A. Murray. That's your name. That's all they want. What can I tell you? And you know, some people can, can get away with it. And you can look at somebody and say, but wait a minute, so-and-so has it. Okay, yeah, because Apple just didn't get around to it yet. They got like three people working on podcasts. I don't know why. They're the biggest billion dollar company in the world. Why <laughs> only got like Three people working on podcasting? I don't know. <laughs> but when they find you, they don't even warn you. You're just out. You're just out. They don't even warn people. When they're kicking them out, they do not warn them. So, Eileen, mine is titled Westford Connections, which is my company name. But so... And I have the theme song for my company is actually the only episode that is there right now. Mm -hmm. So if I follow you correctly, I just leave the Barb T USA and every time it's Westward Connections. Every time. What do you mean every time? Every episode? Oh, we lost your mic, Barb. I thought you got cut off. I think you got cut off in the middle of a sentence there, too. I'm at podcast. You're, you know, we're, we're losing you. Am I back? Yes. Wow. I don't, you know, there's a stormy 
conditions up here. So oh. I forgot all about that. And I haven't looked outside lately, but we're still not through that winter storm. Um, so if you can, you can hear me okay now, right? Yes. Okay. So when I set up Anchor, I set it up. My podcast name was Westward Connections. All right. Uh -huh. Then my first episode was uh, also, I mean, because I was, you know, dinking around, <laughs> is Westward Connections. That's uh, the theme song from my company. And all it is is my theme song. So now if I'm activating this to have episodes, like say, because I can use the intro song, I can cut it up and use it as the intro and the exit. Mm -hmm. And then do the interview from all the connections I've made. I mean, well, some of them are deceased, but talking about the connections I've made, <laughs> even Zig Ziglar and <laughs> work with him. The thing is, I can't, as far as any descriptive detail, it's just Westward Connections. And then the episode is automatically put in there as one, two, three, four, five. And that's what I have to market is just Westward Connections. And then I personally have to step away from that and put in, like, this is episode three and, like, whatever I do for Twitter. And I say I'm interviewing Phil uh, Mahler or something like that. I mean, some name, uh -huh. you know. Um, so I would put that in the descriptive detail, the graphic, the advertising graphic in Twitter and on Facebook. But I could not do anything on this back end from to distribute it through Apple Podcast and stay in good keeping with them. All I put, I just continue to upload as Westward Connections. Now, is Westward Connections the author of the podcast? I am. You are. Because okay? that's what it said. Well, so if I understood you with Anchor, because it shows... Um, let's put it that back shows up. shows me as Barb T. USA... Okay, I'm going to put that back up because actually I see a question over here from Dryer Buzz. It says, Anchor has your name and a field for podcast name. Yeah, and my this podcast. is my profile URL. I just, whenever I sign up for something, if I can, I always make that profile. So it says anchor.fm slash Eileen. That's yeah, and mine says Barb T USA. It does not say Whispered Connections. Okay. But that has not. That's just something that I picked. It has right. nothing to do with the fact that my mm -hmm. name is Eileen Smith. Now, technically, your name is Barb Tomlin, and that's what should be in the name. Your okay, name. Okay, let me go over and check. What page is that on? Okay, hang on, just a okay. second. Okay, I'm open in Anchor on the other window. Okay, so you would let go me into see what settings. it says. You go into settings. Settings. And then update settings. Update settings. Okay, what it says. Podcast okay. name. It says right on it. Westward Connections. Okay. Product, podcast description. Mm -hmm. Edutating musings from dot com diva, geeky artist, serial entrepreneur, sassy boomer, corporate CEO. I mean, that's what we put in back mm -hmm. whatever, that's you know, fine. those things. And like I said, that is not searchable. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I have category education, mm -hmm. and my anchor U URL is Barb T Barb USA, mm -hmm. and an external website, and then oh, in your name should be, be your because name. that so I can't be Barb T USA. You shouldn't be, but I would, don't worry about changing it right now, Barb, because you're. It's not like you're updating that podcast like you would come on. Um, under anchors, um, Apple's radar because you haven't been updating. They probably consider okay. your show as pot faded anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you well, don't I'm have to it all right. But, so. but, but technically, your name is supposed to be your name. My given name and not a show name. Correct. I mean, not a professional name. Correct. I mean, not unless you were using that as, I guess you could, but because it's USA in there, it's kind of like, are you trying to get found for USA? 
The, you, that's a judgment. No, that's call. my. That's that, that's a name that's registered. That would to be me. a judgment call on whoever is looking at it from Apple Podcasts. Let's just say you were putting out episodes regularly. You were building up an audience. You were next to you know you're getting like a thousand downloads a week. Then they may be looking like who's this Barb who. <laughs> But if this is like your show name that you use, then I guess it would be okay as long as it's not spammy. So well, spammy is up to a person's interpretation. And I don't think it's spammy. Right. And they might even bypass it and think your last name is Tussie. T-U-S-A. Looks like Tusa. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not yeah. And so they might just think, oh, her name's Barb Tusa. They don't know you. <laughs> right? It doesn't look right. spammy. So that's why I would say, in your case, I would leave it. Oh, that's okay. right. Because the T is actually capitalized the way right. that I do it. Like yeah. Tusa. Yeah. Well, it used to be Barb T N M U S A. Okay. And well, then, but it's, you know, and then I switched when we um, went to the World Wide Web. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I've been around for quite a while. <laughs> so, <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> be, like nice. <laughs> be nice. Be nice. Be <laughs> nice. Yes, yes, yes. I will, of course. <laughs> and so, Beauty Bubble has arrived. And okay. And so, now let's talk about something else that you can do from desktop because I think this is something that everybody can benefit from, especially when you're thinking about using sponsors. Now, this isn't new, but I know that not that many folks are using it. So I'm going to go to, remember, there were some episodes here that had that lock on them because they really don't have any content or they were just test episodes or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was a test. And actually, this was a test I did for Pat. Hey, Pat, this test is still here. <laughs> so... Now that you have these sponsors, if you're in the U.S., U.S. only, no offense to folks that aren't in the U.S., this is just the way Anchor decided to roll it out. You need a spot to put your ad, okay? So what you need to do is, oops, maybe I can't do that on this because it's not published. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I have to go into edit audio. My fault. Let me do that again. So you're on the episode. Now you have to hit the edit audio button. Okay. I almost forgot that step. Now the three dots next to where it says test for Pat split into multiple segments. So I would go in here and I would listen to it. Of course, I'm not going to do that right now. I would say split here. I would split it. And now you see where it says test for Pat one of two test for Pat two of two. And I would take my anchor sponsor segment and stick it because they automatically put it up at the top. You see how I clicked that button that said add another sponsor segment? Well, actually, it said add a sponsor. Let me get rid of it so we can do it again. See, it has a dollar sign. Um, if case this is small for anyone, let me just try to make it bigger, okay? Because I think this is important to see this. All right. And I have to make my browser bigger so you guys can see this. And like I said, this is an important thing. Once I went in there and I split it, it says one of two and two of two. Okay. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And it says, you see the dollar sign, add a sponsored segment. Now, look, right now, I only have the one sponsor which is Anchor right at this moment. I had Flipboard, but their campaign has ended. When I did that, notice the green dollar sign goes away. But when I scroll up to the top, that segment, the sponsor ad is now at the very beginning of my show. I don't mm -hmm. want it there. That's okay because they don't know where you want to put it. They put it at the beginning. They don't want ads at the end. Okay. So now what I want to do is move it. You can see those little drag handles. See how I'm dragging it. I'm going to put it in between one of two and two of two. So there you go. 
So now that's where that sponsored ad would be. And of course, we didn't listen to the segment, but when you're doing this, you will listen and make sure that it makes sense, that you take a breath or that you know, you're know you transitioning from one topic to another. Let me come back on cam now because it's going to get a little funky. All right. So that's important that they have given us this way to split these segments. And the other thing you also can do is edit them. So if I'm recording like right now, making this video, same thing I can do here on YouTube with the replays, although the comments, the chat goes away and I do it. If Mr. Rodney comes in and he says, hey, I need you to help me with something. And then I go help him and come back. I could cut that out if that was the podcast. Okay. Same way I could on YouTube. So, and how you would trim it. Let's see if I can get that together. I'm going to get that screenshot uh, share together before I start showing you. You split into multiple segments and then, all right, this is how you have to do it from desktop. Okay. Because remember, I've already split them, right? So now I would split the segment right at the part where the intrusion happened. I coughed or if I had a dog, the dog started barking. So now I would come in here and split it again, right? Right there where that noise happened. But this time I will delete the part that has the the infraction. <laughs> All right. I just remove that. Hmm. So don't think that you can't edit just because, you know, I can only split. No, you can split, but you really are, you can trim because you split right there where that part is you want to edit out. Then you go back and you split again, and then you delete that part that you wanted to cut out. Is everybody with me? Can Got I it. get a hashtag two taps? <laughs> <laughs> if you're following along, let me know. Type a yes, type a one. If you want me to go over that again, say no, I have no idea what you just did. Come on, guys. Let me know because this is important and I know people ask about this all the time. So I just want to make sure that you know, with me moving the screen around and all that, that you guys were able to follow that. And if you want me to do it again, I will. Okay. Well, while you're, I'm waiting for responses. Cause I don't see, I guess everybody went to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna go back over here and uh, turn on our display names just to show off a little stream yard thing while I'm waiting. <laughs> so I'm looking at our names on on the desktop now, and it looks like that the blue background will expand if we add more to our name, doesn't it? Because yours is smaller than mine. It looks like it's designed to just oh, fit yeah, whatever you type in. Right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's hard for me to, I can't edit it, like, Right. Now that okay. we're in, in here, I don't think I can go out and edit it. I, mm -hmm. It would be easier for you to leave out, edit it. Hey, Radio Don, he said yes. Okay. Don got it, but Beauty Bubble, uh, let me put Radio Don up because he hasn't been up there yet. Radio Don. Oh, we know he's a podcaster. He's Radio Don. <laughs> and Beauty Bubble just wants me to repeat it anyway. So I will. All right. Okay. Now, now just realizing we published our first episode, February 23rd, 2018. Crazy to think time flies when you're podcasting. Yes. It's been over a year. Wow. I just, I was looking at something to, uh, must've been an old YouTube video. And I was like, I did that a year ago. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, things, Things I miss, I will get on the replay. Okay, so then make sure that you do two taps, Radio Don. Uh, notice that comment that I just posted up in the chat. Thanks to the Elgato Stream Deck. 
and uh, do two taps, like, and share. Those are your two taps. <laughs> All right. So let's just do that real quick again. Uh, make sure I get the right screen share thing going on here. Okay. So you have this segment. Let's get rid of the sponsor segment so we can start from scratch. Okay. Remember, I'm working with a test episode here. Or actually, it was a draft, not a test. Okay. And this time, I'll even use a different segment. I'm going to use the episode outro for March. Click on the three dots. That's step one. Split into multiple segments. Step two. You'll actually listen. Now, we're not going to listen, all right? But you're the audio editor for a few moments in time, right? So you actually listen and you see, oh, this is the part where I coughed. So you say split here. Save and split. Okay. So now you go back in. I'm going to pretend that the cough was in the second part of the split. You'll go back in here. And then you'll split it again. Take out all that coughing. Or you accidentally said um, a bad, bad word. I'm not even going to spell it because YouTube is super sensitive right now. <laughs> You're going to do it again. And then now you've got that piece in the middle where you said the bad word by mistake. And so now you remove from episode. So you got rid of the bad word. Now at the bottom, you see the option to add the sponsored segment. So this was the host read ad. They call a host read when the host brings all their authenticity to a sponsor instead of a Geico commercial coming on. You have the host that has endorsed this product, said what it was good about it, and we've all been able to record our own host read ads. So you add that. Anchor automatically puts it at the top because it doesn't know where you want it to go. So I scrolled up to the top and there it is. Now on the left hand side of that little segment, I can drag it down, drag it down. Okay, because I got it so, so zoomed in, I'm going to have to drag a second time, drag it down. And there it, oops, it thought I went to the bottom. I didn't want it to go to, because it won't play at the bottom. Did you see that? Let me do that again. I tried to put it at the bottom, but notice it does, it's no longer green behind the money side. And it says ads won't play here. They don't want it to be what they call a post roll. They want it to be a mid roll, which means it's somewhere in, in the midst of your content, not in the middle, even though it's mid roll, it's not in the middle. It's that you have content, then the, the ad, and then some more content. They don't want it to be the very last thing because they know people don't listen to that. Okay, so now if, if I was really publishing that, I would save it and then, I would hit publish. I would fill in my episode title without the episode number. I have to scroll back over so I can get to my screen here. And uh, that's how it go. So, all right. So <laughs> Don is agreeing with me about YouTube being super sensitive, super sensitive. Tell me about it. Yeah, I was thinking about, in fact, Zakia, I was thinking about you and your daughter's uh, coming on, you may not, you might want to be cautious about putting those videos on YouTube. They're not doing, what they're doing is turning off comments. But that's a whole nother story and we are not going to get into it. I just wanted to mention that because Zakia was here. I'm not even sure if she's still here. Just be careful. But Zakia is doing such a great job on Periscope. O-M-G. In fact, that's actually the next thing that I want to talk about. So if you don't have any other questions about Anchor, 
Any other questions about Anchor? Got it and took notes too. Okay, great. Oh, one more thing about Anchor. In the past, I have told people that Anchor has this wonderful community on Facebook, the Anchor community. Well, they are shutting it down and they are moving it from Facebook. They're, they're giving everyone a month. They made the announcement yesterday. And at the end of the month, this month, which is March 2019, although you can sign up now and start um, congregating over there now, they're using Slack. So the Anchor Community Facebook group is going to go away. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. I have to bring this up because there's a very devoted podcaster friend of mine. Her name is Maria, Maria Humphreys. She is a podcaster who loves the Anchor platform. And she used some of the background music inside of Anchor and then posted that added some, uh, maybe a slideshow, I think, and posted it up on YouTube. And she got what she thought was a uh, copyright strike. But once again, it was kind of a false positive. And Maria, I hope you're listening. I'll uh, see if I can try to remember what part of the video this is. This is the 51 minutes. Okay, now you have to join Slack. Yeah, I, I was hesitant about joining Slack, but then I was like, you know what? What the heck? Let me go over there. I need to know how to use Slack anyway. So what she got was not really a copyright um, strike. It's what's known as a content ID claim. So that mm -hmm. music that is on Anchor. I'm going to do a screen share of YouTube's content ID claim page, which of course is super boring, but that's not the point. I just, I'm going to read out what, what's really important here. If you upload a video that contains copyright protected material, you could end up with a content ID claim. These claims are issued by companies that own music, movies, TVs, blah, blah, blah. Content owners can set content ID to block material from YouTube when a claim is made. They can also allow the video to remain on YouTube with ads. This is the important part, so I'll say it again. They can also allow the video to remain live on YouTube with ads. So the key here is the person who has the copyright to that music or content wants to get paid from the ads. They don't want you to get paid from the ads. They want to get paid. So they're not saying take that video down. They're saying, no, we want to stay up there. We just want to let you know that creator can't make money. We made the music or the content, whatever it is. We want to make the money. Okay. So in some of these artists, this is probably one way that they can make money. And so if they've given music to Anchor for free, maybe some of that was already um, claimed as their content. It's already copywritten material. Okay, so I'm sure Anchor negotiates some kind of monetary uh, compensation for them, but this is YouTube. So this YouTube is, YouTube has a completely different algorithm for detecting content. This is not a bad thing for your channel because it even says, am I in trouble? Probably not. In most cases, getting a content ID claim isn't a bad thing for your YouTube channel. It just means, hey, we found some content in your video that's owned by somebody else, actually someone else. We found content in your video that's owned by someone else. That's what that means. And that's actually happened to me before. And 
what makes it so bad, it was not um, free like Anchor. I was paying for this music and I no longer use that service. So therefore I'm not gonna mention their name because I was paying them. I should not have got this. They, they're a video making company. So they know that people are putting these videos on YouTube. It's not like Anchor is just doing this for your podcast. If you wanna put it on YouTube, you do it at your own risk. This was a video making, <laughs> a video production tool. Of course the videos are gonna go on YouTube. And they should not have had that music in there for us to use. And hello to my friend, Pam Gomez from Tech Talk MM. Hello, everyone. I made it. <laughs> so just so you know, content ID is totally different from a copyright strike. Okay. So, <laughs> so there we go. So, Barb, there are other good news that we heard. Uh, you were the one who broke the news for me and you found out it from our friend Krishna and that was about Periscope. Wasn't that something? <laughs> yes. yes. Periscope audio, you know, first of all, it was only Twitter audio. You couldn't even do audio only on Periscope when it first came out. And I did a video here about it. That's why I know you could go live on Twitter audio only at some point they made that so you could do it on periscope as well but not initially and then about a month ago and i did an igtv video about this and well as well on facebook you can invite guests in on your live periscope your video and dryer buzz i don't know if she probably left she and i did a periscope together I was on video. She came in on audio. It was really fun. It was super duper fun. Well, now you can even come on on audio only and your guests on audio only, and you can have up to three guests. So here's another way for podcasters to do interviews on Periscope. Isn't that? exciting <laughs> and with that I want to let you know that I was thinking well how do I get my periscope video and actually when I did the one with dryer buzz I was thinking okay I need this video and I couldn't figure out how to get it then this morning as I was getting my hair washed at the hair salon I said oh I know what I need to do. So I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. <laughs> We're going to go into screen sharing mode in a second. All right. So now I'm over on per my Periscope page. All right. <clears throat> and as I went live this morning. Oh, before I went to the hair salon. <laughs> so I was glad I was able to go in audio only. And uh, nobody came in and I didn't tell anybody, but I had my other phone there and my other phone has is another Periscope account. So I just did a little demo just to show that you could do it. So this is how you get your videos. You go into first. I was thinking I need to go into Periscope producer. That's not going to work. Here comes Mr. Rodney now. <laughs> So what you have to do is go into, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> let me go back. Oh, click on your profile image and then click on analytics. Now you get to see, not only do you get to see your analytics, but you get to see the, oops, error, something went wrong. They don't want me to show you this. I'm gonna show you anyway. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did you guys see that? Next to the, oh geez. I'm going to have to post a screenshot later, but next to the video name on the analytics is where you will see the download button. Cause I've already downloaded my video. So in fact, let me just 
try to do that again off off screen because uh, it gave me an error message twice. Hey, Mr. Rod. Hola. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So let me go back behind the scenes and do that again. I'm going back over to Periscope. I don't know why it's saying error. I, I guess because they're making all these changes. Because one of the things that Krishna mentioned is that you're supposed to be able to share that video onto Twitter while you're live. But it wasn't letting us do that. And they're working on that. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm, I give up. I give up uh, Periscope. But believe me, you can download your videos because I downloaded two of my examples this morning. Oh, there is Dryer Buzz. I got her attention. Whoa, it's available for audio only now. Yes. And I, like I said, I did a test of it. And Pat said, if it's audio only, is the screen black or does it show your photo logo? Okay, I can show you guys that. And I will put that on mute. Hang on. I'll put it on mute. So let me get that set up. It shows the, uh, Right, put on mute. There, there you go, Pat. Now you can see what it looks like. Let me, in fact, let me take your comment down, and I'm going to scrub through. I think it was around the minute mark where I came in on my other phone. Yes, yeah, see right here it says free podcast host was added, and now you see this square up at the top. That was just me adding myself. Okay, and so that's what it looks like. So if you had multiple guests, then they would all just appear across the top. Okay, so we got some other comments. So let's get to those. Let's get back. And Hello. so Naya, hey Naya, how are you? After three weeks of struggling with editing my first ever podcast episodes, oh, hey I just how happened to be doing research on Anchor and came across your YouTube that. channel like five minutes ago. Happy to join this. Hey Naya, all right, great. So Naya, how are you editing? Rod, can you go in another room, please? How are you editing your Anchor? Episodes where you doing it on your phone, okay, where you doing it on desktop. He's coming up tomorrow. He's coming up. <laughs> okay. I just... Okay. So let's see. And Dryer Budge, watch Atlanta's original digital, not for Android as usual. Oh, I did not know that. This audio thing is not for. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know that wasn't for Android. Only thing is getting viewers. Well, we're going to have to follow Zakia because when she showed her analytics, uh, I was watching her replay. It kind of blew my mind. She's still crushing it over there. And Ruth is probably, is Barb frozen? Barb is audio. <laughs> Go ahead, Barb. But since, hi, Ruth, <laughs> good to see you. Um, but I have a question because of StreamYard, you know, we can connect Periscope from StreamYard. Yes. And so through that, we can use a virtual. Go ahead. We can use, like I have Manicam connected to StreamYard, as mm -hmm. you know. So I could use the still image in that, correct? Because I'm going directly from StreamYard. Well, that's totally yeah. different. That's totally different. Okay. This is using the Periscope mm -hmm. mobile app only. What okay. I was just showing you, I'm showing you the replay on desktop. Okay. This was only from the mobile app. You can do all the fancy things that you can do with your desktop. Like mm -hmm. I can use Ecamm, we can use StreamYard and all that, but also the aspect ratio is still going to be landscape. Portrait. Okay. Say that again. Okay. I'll show you. Because on Periscope, it's not portrait. Not if you're on desktop. Okay. And I'll show you. So and show me one that. So I'm, I'm going to show you some replays, but I want to just say for everybody who's asking questions, 
I'm going to get to your comments, I promise. Okay. So I'm just going to go back to the screen share. And now you'll see there's other broadcasts here that I have. Let's see one that I know would definitely have to be from desktop. This one was from desktop. Okay. I was talking about international podcast day and I was using the green screen and all of that with Ecamm. See how this is landscape, Barb? Okay. So then it's no different than normal. What do you mean than normal? No, the other one was portrait. I'm just saying that if you're on a desktop, the it's landscape typically. If and you're using if you're using StreamYard, if you're using um, Ecam Live, which I was in this particular video, and any of the other times when you're using from your desktop, your video and your replay are going to be in landscape. So now if you were okay. watching this on your phone, this is how it would look. It would have all this, the black bar at the top and at the bottom. Okay, we're watching it on desktop, but let's just okay. say if we were watching this on the phone, it would look like this. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As opposed to the one that I did this morning, which was done on my phone and it's in portrait mode. I don't know why it's not loading, but here's another one. Let's see if that one loads. See, this is in portrait mode. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the difference. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, anytime you're doing it from your desktop, it's always going to be in landscape. So when somebody's watching it on their phone, it's going to have those back black bars at the top. Okay. Right. And what I can see is if you're creative and you have a black background, you're coming in with a black background. Think about what you saw. We saw those bars there, the mm -hmm. top and bottom. Mm -hmm. If it's black anyway, that's going to be a completely different impact. I mean, you could do that with audio. I'll test it out. But I, I can see that up above and below is black on okay. their thing. You're mixing a couple of different things here because you mentioned um, – the audio so if you're doing the audio only that's on the phone okay now of course you can come in with a desktop app and just flip your camera thing down or put something over top of your camera and then it would be black but it won't have that player that circle with that waveform in the background because it's technically it's not really an audio only broadcast you see the difference and I'll show you from the phone. Unless you have an animated GIF that does that. Yeah, unless you make your own animated. That's a whole lot of work. Just to, <laughs> when it's so yeah. much easier just to grab your phone. <laughs> if, it, yeah, if it's there and if your access is good with your phone. I mean, there are situations that that is not the same. Okay. Uh, this is true. We have so many options and I definitely want to say hello to Andrew. I have to go back and catch the beginning. Yes. We were talking about anchor from desktop and I do believe it works with the Chromebook. Andrew, I'm almost, I'm like 98% sure. <laughs> and, uh, Oh wow. I'm missing. I was missing comments. All right. Now trying on anchor. Okay. So, uh, Naya, you still haven't mentioned whether you were on your phone or on desktop, or unless I missed it. Oh, you said you started, you started in GarageBand. I'm assuming that you were on desktop. Okay, and then uh, GarageBand. Yeah, I, I know a lot of podcasters were using GarageBand, but I think there's a steep learning curve for that. I never even learned how to use garage band to record my podcast it's not that user friendly for podcasting be honest with you <laughs> Naya you're going to love anchor it sends your podcast all over the place yeah and that's one of the things that Brian was saying and if you go back and watch the beginning of this video I gave Brian Fanzo a shout out because he did a scope talking about anchor versus Lipson and he he still has a couple of his podcasts over on Lipson, but he was talking about the ease of use of Anchor. And a podcast he has launched now with Amy Landino called Just Try This is on Anchor. 
and he loves it. And one of the things he loves is the multiple points of distribution. And it's one of the things I love as well. And I do believe that Brian Fanzo first mentioned Anchor back before it was podcasting. Back in the day when we were on the B word, he's the first person that mentioned it. That was the first time I heard of Anchor. But then I think Dr. Tachi was the one that was on that day on Anchor. And I was like, all right, I'm going to try it now. But I first heard about it from Brian. And then when Tachi and I was like, okay, I really want to go over there and see what, what Tachi's talking about. And so I give both of them credit for introducing me to Anchor. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This is one of the frustrations I have with app creators and Android. It is the most used operating system and we're treated like second-class citizens. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Radio Don. Uh, you know, I think that these things roll out in um, waves. And sometimes even like with Instagram, for example, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to change topics, but there's a lot of features on Instagram that haven't even rolled out to everybody that's on Instagram, whether they're on iPhone or Android. So it's not just that. <laughs> but Ruth is agreeing with you, my sentiment, exactly. And honestly, this is one of the reasons why I decided not to buy another Android phone and to buy an iPhone. And Beauty said, those video and replay will be landscape with Hollywooding header and footer side margins as black bars. Yes. But, you know, it just all depends upon where somebody's watching it. Like if you're watching my replay on desktop or if you're watching me live on desktop, that doesn't bother you. But, you know, I think it looks kind of awkward if you're watching it doesn't fill the screen. This is one of the things that YouTube has decided to do. Bark got some some um, background noise there. I'm not sure what that is. Thank you. <laughs> but there, um, it doesn't fill the screen. And YouTube made this change maybe about, I want to say, within the last six months, that even if your video is landscape, that it will fill the screen on mobile and on desktop. But, you know, let's face it, YouTube is the most sophisticated video platform on the planet. Everybody else is playing catch up. So, <laughs> except that Periscope Hollywooding is an undefined hex, I believe. Mm, I don't know what you mean by that undefined hex. That doesn't sound like a good thing. <laughs> Beauty, it doesn't. But let's see. Let's see if we can go in here. I'm actually on my phone now and uh, I want to go into my past broadcast which takes a little maneuvering and to see how different it looks when it's uh, landscape yeah it does it's not a good look guys I'll show you uh, let me get myself off of here so this is how a Periscope looks, watching the replay. That was landscape, but you're watching it on mobile. It's just not, just not a good look. So there you have it. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. So uh, I think that's all we're going to cover today, guys. I really, really appreciate you all for being here today and all of your questions and all of your feedback. You know, Anchor is definitely an easy way for you to get started with your podcast. So uh, I, I really want to encourage you, if you've never had a podcast before, to go ahead and give it a try. And like Naya said earlier, that I've got tons of tutorials here. I just wanted to show you today, really those updates to the desktop that are fairly new, um, I would say within the last couple of weeks. And there was one I think was just updated to two to three days ago. And uh, so, Barb, any last words before? I just appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us today. And I agree, you know, I, I tested out Anchor and I've, again, I haven't had the time to really pursue it, but 
um, now that I see from the desktop side the ease of that, maybe I'll be able to work it in. Okay. All right, then. Well, thanks so much for joining me, Barb. And I'm just going to put up my end screen. So thank you. And with that, everyone, uh, what I want you to do is make sure that you get an opportunity to check out one of these other videos that I have here for you to watch. And also subscribe and just keep coming back because I promise to have some good content for you every week here on the channel. Bye for now.